Ready for a few more? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> more gentlemen leaving. Goodbye, I'll wait for you to walk early. Thank you, thank you gentlemen. All right, great. Lovely, lovely. Anybody else want to go? Great, awesome. So, uh, so before we get to the next meeting, let's uh, let's talk to the crowd here a little bit. I've already talked to you guys. Great. Um, we, did we talk to you guys? No. Oh, you just saying, yeah, she's like, fuck it, please don't talk to me. <laughs> that was very slick, though. I like that little, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. So I'll, I'll leave you alone. What about uh, you gentlemen up there? Oh, you were you were Mr. Heckler from back over there. Mr. Smallleg, yeah? yeah? That's why I was just trying to confuse you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm always confused. You're just trying to make the show funny. I get it. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. So I'll leave you guys alone. So, uh, ladies, there are two lovely ladies right up front here. Ladies, how are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, I, I love it. I see it. As a comedian, I get to see everything in the room. Even though you guys don't think I can see everything, I see everything in the room. I see you guys, I see everything. When I was talking to the ladies here, I said there are two lovely ladies here, and there was a gentleman over there that went. Yeah. Thank you. So, ladies, how are you guys doing tonight? You guys here for the comedy show? Are you looking at my butt in the mirror right now? <laughs> yeah, you are. It's okay. Good. <laughs> Are they looking at my butt right now? <laughs> All right. All right, are you guys ready for your next comedian of the evening? Yeah! yeah. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian of the evening is again the founder of Laugh and a Half Comedy Club. So ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for Mr. Ryan Francisco Aguilar! Scroll! Give him the green light. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm, uh, my name is Ryan. I'm from uh, Orange County. And uh, everyone is always asking me, why did you leave the promised land? I, I tell them every time. The beautiful women. The women here in Sweden, they, they're just the best. Playboy has voted like 10 years in a row now. Swedish women, number one most beautiful woman in the world, 10 years in a row. And every time I tell it to this, my Swedish friends, my guy friends, they always go, have you been to Norway yet? <laughs> I can tell them no I haven't, but uh, I But uh, I love it here though, I love it here. It's, uh, it's out of control in the States, it's out of control. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Colorado, Washington, the state I'm from, uh, California, they are legalizing marijuana rampantly, but you know what they're illegalizing? Vitamins and minerals. It's true. They want to make vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, all the vitamins. They want to make them illegal. We were back in, uh, me and Marge were back in uh, LA in October, and uh, I actually had to go to my drug dealer, and I said, hey, there you go. <laughs> you got any vitamin A? <laughs> no, you're out. How the vitamin C? Get the, out of that too? Fuck. Tough to man. You got the multivitamin at least? He had the multivitamin. Thank God for that. It was rude to, you know, I don't know, gone crazy. But yeah, it's out of control. It's out of control. The, uh, the health care system is out of control. Healthier. People even healthy. Me and my wife got an argument tonight about gluten free. This is everywhere. It's like, what did we do 100 years ago? Were we gluten free then? I, mean, I, don't, I don't get it. People walk into McDonald's. They walk into McDonald's and they go, I want a gluten free, you know, big tasty. It's 800 calories, no matter which way you slice it, if it's regular bread or gluten bread. I don't get it. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna eat healthy at McDonald's. I don't get it. it drives me insane. But uh, that's out of control. The gym's out of control, too. You ready to go to the gym? It works out. You like the music there? The gym feels like a nightclub. It's got Bieber and, and Miley Cyrus and, and just, just crazy. But every once in then, I get pumped. Because that one song comes on. You know what I'm talking about, that one song. And you're there and you're like, man, if I hear another fucking Britney Spears again. But then all of a sudden, a song will come on. You're like, what is this? This is playing in your ears. And you're like, I think I got the flow. I think I got the flow. I'm ready. I'm ready for the the next thing you know, you sing along to it. You're like, Johnny Spence is not in the dance. <laughs> <laughs> and you start going crazy. And you get that pump out, you're like, yeah, and then you're like, oh, the course is coming, the course is coming. You look around, there's mirrors everywhere, like, I'm here alone, and cool, it's like 2 in the morning. And you go, and here we go, here we go. Bench time, you know, you're like, oh, we got a whole lot. And then someone's 
somebody comes and is like, hey, and like, oh, hey, how you doing? You want to take the bench? I'm, I'm done. It's like, <laughs> the gym's out of control. Um, but I love the gym. I love the gym. I love uh, my eyes get a good workout. <laughs> it's hard. It's a, it's a true thing. I, I read this the other day. So you want to keep your neck straight at all times. Anytime you're doing anything heavy and you turn your neck, you're going to tweak something. So I'm, you know, the mirrors help out and there's like, you know, eye bullets here and there, like pew, pew, you know, and little, little mental pictures. You know? It's good. I like it. I like it. But uh, the main reason I moved here, I have to say, was probably gangster rap. Gangster, this is a true story. Ice Cube, NWA. You remember that? Right? Fuck the police. Gang bangers shooting everything, right? Ice Cube, believe it or not, is anti guns. He promotes Sweden. I'm anti gun too. Remember what he said? Check yourself before you wreck yourself, because shotgun bullets are bad for your health. <laughs> he said it. It's there. It's, it's in the lyrics. Look it up. So when I heard that, I was like, where can I move? Because I grew up, grew up in LA. It's, it's, uh, it's a cakewalk compared to. No, actually, no, son. It's easy. It's easy here. It's so funny. People say, like, Rosengard's dangerous. It's not damn. Like, if you come to L.A., we invented gangs, for crying out loud. You know, we got the two biggest. And I'm talking Crips and Bloods. I'm talking Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> that's, that's the big gangs. That's the big gangs. Um, I don't know much about Swedish politics. Uh, but that guy, uh, what's his name? Stefan Lufen? Is that his name? Doesn't he look like... The f like if you shaved his head and you painted his face green and put the blue mask on, doesn't he look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? <laughs> Am I the only guy that thinks that? Doesn't he look like he's gonna be like, how are we gonna solve crime? Don't worry, I've got some nunchucks <laughs> ready to get on. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, mean, I don't understand any Swedish politics. My wife is into it. She watches it. And she gets all crazy and mad. I'm like, what's what's wrong? He's just he's a Ninja Turtle. He's gonna come and save the world. You know, he's got April in his back pocket. I don't know. Do no skull. Skull. It's Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That, that actually bumps me. Here. Like Eric was talking about Black Friday. Black Friday is the date. Uh, November 28th, we start saying Merry Christmas everywhere we go. We buy, uh, like we serve the malls, we buy and say Merry Christmas, say Merry Christmas back. Here you guys don't say Merry Christmas back. The day I went to the store and I bought something, she gift wrapped it up for me, and she puts the bow tie on it, and I say, thank you, Merry Christmas, and she went, what? <laughs> it's like a week early, isn't it? <laughs> it, is, it is December 17th, isn't that? Yeah, okay. Merry Christmas, right? And Happy New Year. I was saying Happy New Year last year to like May 5th. People were like, what are you talking about? It's still the first part of the year. It's, it's divided June 1st. Then you can say, okay. I'm killing it. You're leaving. Thank you. It's too late. Yeah. you got your nap on. Well, well, like, like it matters, it's too late to him. Anyway, uh, everything's out of control. I'm out of control. My name's Ryan Pizza Scott. I hope you guys had a good night. Back to Brian, your MC, everybody. Thank you very much.